Hi everyone, I'm Linda. I'm Linda and, um, sorry about that. I am, um, hi Nutmeg, hi Sherry. Um, I am doing a um, knitting tutorial and I'm going to uh, recap what I did for the past two. Um, let me turn the camera around, it's easier to do it that way. Okay, hi Sherry. I saw your cast last night on Cards Against Humanity, that looked like a lot of fun. So what I'm going to start doing is just recap the previous two broadcasts. Um, I'm going to do, now this is, um, not Meg, this is Barocco Comfort. I use it on all my um, um, chemo caps. It's a 50-50 blend, blend of um, acrylic and nylon, super fine acrylic and super fine nylon. It's inexpensive. It runs about um, $6.50 per skein. Uh, 210 yards per uh, per skein and it is just so incredibly soft and it works so well and it's washable too so it's perfect for hats for um, for when you need that comfort next to your skin so I'm going to show you the I, I when I started out uh, the first time I did um, I did three cast-ons I'm only going to do two this time I, I really don't like doing the knitted cast on so I'm just not going to do it all right, so we're going to start with the, just quickly do the um, backwards loop cast on. Start with a slip knot. And very simply, pull the yarn over your finger like that and just let it go. It's very simply. Cast on however many number of stitches you need. You'll hear my cats in the background. I've got the doors closed so they can't uh, that so they can't bomb the um, photo bomb the uh, video cast here because they'll go after the yarn and uh, I don't want them to do that. Okay, so very simply, that's the backwards loop cast on. Now I'll show you the uh, long tail. With the long tail. You need uh, double the length of, well, not double the length, how, um, I don't know, <laughs> it's probably my cat. Um, uh, long tail needs two lengths, so you, you just um, start with, and for those of you who haven't joined my broadcast before, I'm terrible at teaching, so bear with me. I'm. Um, I have a hard time expressing myself, so if, you, if, if there's something you don't understand, just let me know. Okay, so this is called the long tail because it uses about double the length of yarn that you need. Start, put the yarn over your fingers like this. Go under the yarn on your thumb, over the yarn on your finger, and around. I like this, this method because it's, it's very elastic, it's nice and stretchy, and it's just, um, it gives a clean edge, like that. Under your thumb, over the needle, and around, and just like that, however many stitches you need. Yeah. <sighs> she wants in badly, but that's not going to happen. Okay, so that's the, um, the long tail. See what a nice clean edge that gives on, the, on there? And what's nice about the long tail method, when, um, when, a, when a pattern calls, oh my God, there's a cat on my phone. <laughs> um, I figured that's what you meant. Um, so when a pattern calls for um, whatever first row you knit, this this already counts as one row as being knit. So, because on the back here you can see the the pearl bumps. Okay, so that's that's your um, and thank you for inviting your followers. Um, so that's the long tail cast on. Now, um, yesterday I went over the knit stitch, and what I'm going to do is just quickly. I I've done cross stitch before. But um, since I've taken up knitting, that's what I do the most. Okay. 
amount of many hats. Uh, this, um, this particular needle is a size 10. Um, and what I'm going to show you, this right here is garter stitch. I did a, a couple rolls of garter stitch, which is knit every row. Um, this is just a little swatch here. This side is with a garter stitch border. This side is left as is, and you can see how it tends to roll. Stocking stitch does that. Garter stitch won't roll, but stocking stitch tends to roll. This side here, I slipped the first stitch of the row, so it's going to give me a nice clean edge. This side here, I just knit or purled the first stitch as necessary, and you can see how what a difference it makes. And when you slip the stitch of every row, especially if you're going to be doing any um, uh, seaming or uh, picking up stitches, it's so much easier to see where the, the needle will go and the yarn will go to pick up the stitches and, and to do any seaming. Okay, so let me recap the knit stitch. Get this out of the way to maybe see it better. And like I said, if, if there's anything you don't understand, just stop me and feel free to ask any questions. Okay, slipping the first stitch. Slip it over to the needle, pass the yarn to the back. Slip the needle into the loop. So you've got, let's see, let's see if you can see that. Slip it into the loop, wrap the yarn around, pass the loop over the needle and let it go. Now there's a, this is the English method. There is a continent, I'm, I am left-handed and I knit right-handed. There's a method where you can take the, the yarn in, in your left hand and um, do it a little bit quicker, but I just never felt comfortable doing it that way, so I just uh, do it this way, the English method, or it's also called throwing the yarn. And this is the knit stitch. in through the front, pass the yarn over, and drop off. And the last one. Now for the purl stitch. With the knit stitch, the yarn, the needle goes in the front. With the purl stitch, hey Jason, with the purl stitch, it's going to go through the back. So, through the back, over, and drop it off. Through the back, over, and drop it off. Now the border I've created, uh, the garter stitch border, I have to make sure that I leave three stitches on the end. Oops. This yarn has a tendency to twist. It's, one of, it's, it's super for using for the, um, for the hats, but man, it twists and it's hard, to, it's hard to use. Okay, so see where I've got these three stitches left? That's where I want to knit the last three stitches. So I pass the yarn to the back Make sure you don't pass it over like this because that'll, that's going to create an extra stitch. And I'll, get, I'll uh, get into that on tomorrow's broadcast. So pull the yarn over to the back and then knit the last three stitches. And there we go. You can see the difference. Um, this is the knit side which is almost always going to be the right side. And this is the purl side, which is, um, unless you want it to be shown on that way, this is the, the uh, wrong side. Thank you, Jason. And um, again, we've got the, the edge where it's not, um, not the clean edge, it's just knit or purled as needed. And then this is the one where I've got the finished edge where it looks a lot nicer. 
And then I was thinking that, um, hi Leslie, I was thinking that um, after I finish, um, let's see, tomorrow I'm going to do um, um, increasing, go over increasing. And then I was thinking, I've got this calendar, 365 knitting stitches a year. What I would like to do after I've gone over all the basics is every day go over one of these stitches and do the, so I'll have 365 days of stuff to do. And I'm going to have to make sure that I can actually do these things. <laughs> um, it'll be fun for me and uh, hopefully uh, it'll get to, it'll help you guys too. So. And if you want to get one of these calendars, it's 365 knitting stitches a year. And I've already used several stitches from here. It's really nice. Yeah, testing my skills is right. So, um, that was that. Again, this is, this is the swatch that I did today. Garter stitch here, garter stitch border, knit front, stocking stitch front, um, this is also called, the pearl side is also called reverse stocking stitch because that's just the back side of it. Um, and that's it. And the nice clean finished edge. And the edge that's either knit or purled as, as needed. Now you can see how much of a difference it is. This, this side here is going to be so much easier to when if you, you're going to do any seaming or picking up stitches and it just looks so much nicer once it's uh, on a finished garment that way. I know. <laughs> uh, she can deal with it. So tomorrow I'm going to go over increases and the day after I'll go over decreases and then after the day after that I'll start on the calendar and then we'll uh, we'll progress from there. So thank you all for joining me, and um, I'll see you for tomorrow's broadcast. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.